Want to learn about some porn parodies humanity really didn't need? I'm April O'Neil. I've been in a few porn parodies, so I know what I'm talking about. And this is Rank Bank. At number seven, it's Roseanne, the triple X parody. Because when you think sexy, you think John Goodman and Roseanne Barr slapping them bods together with a quickness. Sure, the daughters on Roseanne made for some great porn bait, but other than that, why would you want to watch this? Are you Tom Arnold? Oh God, I bet Tom Arnold loved this. Coming in, get it? I know. And number six is The Simpsons, a triple X parody. Are you turned on by cartoon characters? Well, great, because here are real people painted yellow, which isn't so great if you're attracted to cartoons, but it is great if you are sexually interested in jaundice. I was on that set. The yellow was everywhere. Like there's a couch there that's permanently stained yellow. At number five, it's Sex in the City, the original triple X porn parody. What was even the intended audience here? What straight guy looking for straight porn ever watched Sex in the City? Also, everyone was naked on that show anyway. It's basically porn already. This didn't have to happen. Who was this for? And number four is another HBO show. It's Entourage, a triple X parody. Entourage, the actual show, was about crappy actors using pseudo fame to bang chicks. And that is also coincidentally the exact plot of this porn parody. And the similarities don't stop there. Sasha Gray herself was on the actual Entourage. So what does the porn have that the original show doesn't? Just a little bit more vagina. Just a little though, and a smidge. Number three is, Jesus, another HBO show? <laughs> this ain't Curb Your Enthusiasm comes in at number three. As seen in the regular show Curb Your Enthusiasm, nothing turns on the ladies quite like a nebbish, middle-aged, balding Jewish man with the talent for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. <laughs> So the porn version wouldn't be at all like walking in on your grandfather with a prostitute, right? Right? At number two, it's E.T. the porn parody. <laughs> I've been watching E.T. and thought, oh, this is great, a true classic, but I really think E.T. should have been a woman, and I really think Act 2 could have used a lot more hard dicks rocketing into some intergalactic box. If you've had this thought, E.T. the porn parody is for you. What a treat. At number one, the porn no one needed, you guessed it. It's Schindler's Lust, I mean no, holy shit. Just let that sink in, Schindler's Lust. Here's what goes on in this dope fresh flick. Nazis trap naked chicks and make them have sex with ape creatures. The ape creatures feed on the blood of the hot chicks. Scientists and Nazi officers go nuts performing experiments on various women in camps, intercut, a little Soviet montage for you. For videos humanity does need, check out my videos on playboy.com. I'm April O'Neil, and this is Rank Bank. I think he's just amusing himself. I really do. If Jen Kirkman was his campaign manager, I would improve it by turning him into a Hillary-Bernie Sanders combo.